In this tutorial, we'll be going over the Node Tool. Now let's select our Node Tool. When it's selected, you'll see some options pop up near the top. Now let's select this square. Initially it's an object, but we can change it into a path by using this button, Convert Selected Object to Path. Once we do that, you can see the nodes appear that make up the square. Now let's select this other square. Again, right now it's an object. In addition to making an object into a path, we can also turn an object stroke into a path using this button. Once we do that, the object disappears and instead we're left with just the stroke, which is now a path. Now using what we did before, let's select the circle and turn it into a path. Although it already has nodes on it now, we can add more nodes, as many as we like. If we move our cursor over the edge, we can see the cursor change. This is where we add our nodes. To add a node, just double left click your mouse. We can also delete nodes by selecting a node and hitting the delete key. When we delete a node, it reconnects the other nodes to compensate. Another way to add a node is to use the Add Node button. With two nodes selected, when we add a node this way, it puts it directly between the two selected nodes. We can also use the Delete Node button to remove it. Now if we wanted to make a circle more complex, we are able to give the entire circle more nodes. First we select all the nodes of the circle, then click the Add Node button. This puts a node at the center of every empty segment. We can continue to add nodes until we feel we have enough. If I select this rectangle, we can see it's already a path. Now if we select the two top nodes, we can use the Join Selected Nodes button to combine them, which creates a triangle. We can also break a path at the selected node. When we do this, it splits the node into two and breaks the path. As you can see, there is no top segment anymore. To make a new segment, we can join the nodes with a segment using this button. If we just wanted to delete the segment itself, we can use the Delete Segment button. And now the segment's gone. The last thing we're going to talk about is changing the curvature of nodes and segments. Now we have this circle, and as we can see, it's a path. If we select a node, we can see handles appear. We can left click and drag on these handles to adjust the curvature of the node. We can also adjust an individual segment's curvature by left clicking and dragging directly on the path. If we look at the top, we can see a variety of buttons that deal with node curvature. With the node selected, if you click this button, it will change your node to a corner. Now if we adjust the node's handles, you'll see that they now move independently of each other. Clicking the corner button again will make it a sharp corner with no handles. Now we can select the Make Node Smooth button to make the node smooth like we started with. If we go to the Make Node Symmetrical button, it will set both handles to be equal to one another. If we were to use the Auto Smooth option, it will try to automatically smooth out the path at the selected node. Now let's take a look at the Make Segment Line button. If we use this button with two nodes selected, the segment between them will become a straight line. 
As you can see, it also removes the handles for that segment on both the nodes. To return the curvature of the segment and the handles to the nodes, we can use the Make Selected Segments Curves option.